guys if you clicked on today's video i'm going to show you me recreating this amazing pumpkin hair mask that i found on a blog called this roller coaster called life by naomi m this pumpkin hair mask made my hair go from this to this keep watching if you want to see how i did it shout out to miss naomi for this hair mask idea i know it's october and was like honestly why don't i get creative do something for my hair relating to october but what exactly then i found her blog post so as you can see, this is the pumpkin hair mask for fall. I want to make this very clear that I want to give full credit to Naomi in her blog, which I will link down below for this video idea. I was apprehensive about the mask, but it really gave me some awesome results. As we scroll, you can see she lists out how to make it, what goes in it, and how long to keep the mask in your hair. I'm going to show you how I mimic the instructions as well and try to try this out for my curls. Getting started here, the mask calls for the following items which I will list on the screen and what their purposes will be for the mask. Cinnamon, pumpkin puree, I know Goya is a little controversial right now but this is all I could find you guys. So this mask originally calls for vitamin E capsules but turns out I bought the wrong one. The good news is vitamin A provides a lot of benefits as well so it was perfect. Continuing on, the infamous coconut oil, unrefined of course, a container to store it in for when I'm ready later in the day, and some measuring cups. Y'all are just gonna have to love me through my imperfections, okay? <laughs> yes, this is how I open cans with nails on or not. I just need assistance. But anyways, anyways, anyways. So Naomi said, y'all better use a cup and a half of pumpkin puree. But to be honest, Naomi, uh, my hair is super thick. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a whole damn cup. You can follow her instructions to the T, but I know I'd rather have extra to cover my whole head than just a little corner. But guys, this was honestly so fun to empty out. And even after just using one cup, I still had a lot of extra pumpkin left over. This is just something to know for my girlies that like to cook and make recipes. Now, we're going to move along and grab that coconut oil and get ready to use that along with emptying out the pumpkin puree into a bowl. My measuring cups are flimsy apparently, so don't buy cheap ones like me. Naomi said to use two tablespoons of coconut oil and I'm going to follow just that because too much oil in my hair does not benefit me. So, two tablespoons it is, it's more than perfect. I'm also going to go in and sneak that one tablespoon of cinnamon. Um, don't be lazy like me. I didn't rinse the tablespoon, so some cinnamon got stuck. So it's time to add the vitamin E capsules. Again, as y'all know, I only got vitamin A, so let me just break down why Naomi chose the vitamin E and why the vitamin A will honestly work just fine. Vitamin A is great for the hair because it can repair the hair, moisture the scalp, stimulate hair growth, and bonus number four, if you have a dry scalp like me, um, this is perfect for us. Apparently, vitamin A is the best vitamin you can put in your hair of all the vitamins. Now, my assumption for which Naomi said to use vitamin E is probably because vitamin E can help form a protective layer on the scalp to lock in that moisture and is said to also help with hair loss, so whichever you guys want to use, honestly. Yeah, so I did not think this part through. It was really hard to get the oil in the capsule, out of the capsule in there, but we made it happen. I'm sure with the vitamin E being that it is bigger, it's probably easier to get it in the bowl, but I decided to choose two since they are really tiny. Now it is time to stir. I did use a tiny spoon for this, so it took me longer than usual, but I can just say that, oh my god, it smelled delicious. I wanted to eat it so bad. Here is how it looked by the end of me mixing it. Nothing too fancy. I'm also going to go ahead and grab my container. So I'm going to take this out of this bowl and just make sure I don't leave anything behind. that beauty you guys i cannot repeat how good this smells like it smells so good time 
for the fun part okay so it's that time of the day where i have a second to wash my hair and here's how it looks before giving very yeah so as you can see it's a bit dry because the season has obviously changed and my hair does not shy away from the changing with the new weather the new climate my hair does also have two porosity types um which we're seeing is not damaged my hair is 100 percent natural and healthy i just get dry which is why i want to do this mask to see if it would help i will link my porosity video in the bottom below so you guys can learn a thing or two about that but let's continue that is the face of someone who is hoping this works but anyways i wanted to preface preface that i had to wet my hair before putting this in because naomi does tell us to comb it eventually and if i don't have slip in my hair it's just not gonna work and of course a little length check can you guys believe i did a big chop like two years ago that's crazy yeah so i already know some people are gonna be tickled about my water being on it was freezing this day okay and what you don't know is that with these videos what people do is they go in the shower in a bathing suit we have to film with the freaking curtain open lights on us camera <sighs> it gets cold it really does and honestly i was freezing this day so cut me some slack i was keeping my body and my feet warm <laughs> As you can see, I was passing the hair mask through my hair, and it does look chunky on camera, but it was getting in there, I promise you. Again, reminder, it smelled amazing. This is me just checking to see if anything is changing yet. <laughs> it looks pretty interesting, though, don't you guys think? Like, I was worried it was gonna stain my shower or something with just, you know, how orange it was. Honestly, guys, I know it looks disgusting, and if you're particular about textures, it does feel kind of chunky chunky funky um but i have used leave-in conditioners with textures like this so i wasn't too concerned but i do want to give you that warning so my dry spots are my hairline in the middle of my hair again referencing that porosity video so that you guys could learn a little bit but my porosity um yeah i was just trying to make sure i got the front in the middle honestly to get extra pumpkin in there because that's where it needs it most <laughs> so now that i'm finished it was time to comb my hair and as you can see i was literally struggling in the beginning but i used my denman brush um but yeah guys i told you i needed that slip because my hair is stubborn but luckily we got through it i was just not prepared for how messy my brush would be guys please look at this like what is that <laughs> i will say honestly i appreciate naomi suggesting us to comb it through our hair because it did help the pumpkin get in there even better this point i was really trying to clean my brush and keep brushing but i wanted to leave this clip in because you can already see my hair coming back to life like the shine was amazing here i am showing you again the back side guys my dry side of my hair look at that shine the waviness oh my god So now that I finished brushing it in my hair, I promise it's still all in there. Um, it's just spread out more evenly. Naomi says to now grab a plastic bag and leave it in there for 15 to 20 minutes. She says the heat in the back from your body heat will help the mask even more. Here I have the good old faithful uh, a classic thank you bag. But um, as you can see, you know how I kept saying how good it smelled and how I would want to eat it. It tasted disgusting, so don't just don't do that. <laughs> now we wait 15 to 20 minutes be back okay it has now been 20 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and take off the bag we're gonna rinse all that pumpkin off and can you guys just look at how that hair is looking you guys like also the orange water coming out now i'm just starting my usual hair routine and going ahead and washing with shampoo and conditioner shampoo first guys i had no idea i would have to wash my hair twice keep watching you will see what color the foam turns at this point i realized yeah this pumpkin needs to be washed out twice no biggie but i was so excited to see the results here is me just going for that round to a shampoo as you can see a big difference in color i even do a hand test and see my foam is no longer orange so i'm good now now i'm rinsing that out to move on to conditioner look at how it's looking you guys super nice super super nice okay guys it's conditioner time you know how that goes pretty straightforward <laughs> 
Anyway, to spare the time, moving right along to the detangle portion. Um, now, if you could spot this, can you see my dry parts of my hair trying to rebel on me already? So you'll see a transformation, though. Like, it, it's coming. Um, this clip is honestly to just show you how thick my hair really is. So I was surprised to see this, you guys. Um, there was still pumpkin chunks in my hair that were super tiny. But this caught me by surprise. And here's my hair after all was said and done. And guys, can we admire the results for a second? Just for funsies, I went ahead and left some clips of me prepping my hair with my curly hair products. Super quick rundown, you guys. I sectioned my hair into parts, and here I am doing one part, but look at how shiny that is. See what I'm talking about here? So this is 100% healthy hair. It's just my dry sections. Believe it or not, the pumpkin did do it justice. It was worse before this. With my porosity type, I have to keep certain sections of my hair consistently wet and moist. So here you see me doing that. And I will just continue to apply my product and brush it there to... Brush it... <laughs> brush it through to make sure it's all in there okay you guys here we are the wet and wavy results of the hair amazing giving beach vibes if i don't say so myself <laughs> beach waves for sure here's a little exclusive peek into what i do after styling um i just like to hair half air dry sometimes and um it's just so much hair but for now just plop it into my little microfiber towel to avoid the drips and all that Okay guys, time for the results. Here are the results the next day. Fully dry hair and I am pleasantly surprised. I can absolutely say I will be adding this mask to my list of DIY masks at home. Huge shout out to Naomi by the way. I will be linking her blog below. The only thing I would change is my choice of pumpkin puree probably since they let this one left chunks but I don't know if they all do that but honestly you couldn't even tell. Okay, you guys, I hope you liked today's video. Please leave a like, share with your friends, give this mask a try, please. And also take a few seconds to subscribe to my channel. I post hair and life advice videos and would love to keep showing you guys what I have to offer. Thank you so, so, so much for watching as always. And let me know if you're going to give this a try in the comments, please. Thank you, guys. Bye. Peace.